folks, it seems that Disney lied. Welcome back to Orange Hat, folks. I'm here to bring you a video. I haven't done one in a while. I know. Magopa. But, uh, this is actually interesting enough to get, or to bring you all before the, uh, weekly recap on Sunday, which it might even be a uh, topic of. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? Um, exclusive Star Wars The Acolyte. Real cost exploded to $230 million, according to new tax documents. So, Disney said that the Acolyte was $172 million, and people basically were saying it was $100 million or 180 million and whatnot, but the real or the original cost was 172 million, which was reported. Well, now it seems that, well, yeah, it blew up, so let's get into this. United Kingdom tax documents filed by Walt Disney's UK branch reveal that Lucasfilm and Walt Disney Company spent over 172 million GBP, Great Britain Pound, I'm guessing which is actually equal to 231 million US dollars on the production of The Accolade, a prequel series set in the Disney Star Wars universe. So, the interview with Vanity Fair, The Accolade series creator, Hedlund, publicly claimed that the show cost 180 million dollars, which was assumed by several to be stated in U.S. dollars, or 180 million, which everybody assumed was U.S. dollars. It is evident that Hedlund had knowledge of the series' financials, that she was more likely referring to the amount of Great British Pounds. Accounting for the exchange rate at the time of this article, this means the Acolyte had almost 230 million U.S. dollars, or cost almost 230 million U.S. dollars, with eight episodes in the series. This means that Lucasfilm under Kathleen Kennedy allowed the budget to, of the now canceled show to balloon to $28.75 million per episode while failing to attract an audience. UK tax filings for the Acolyte only account for what was spent on the series before September 2023, so it is possible that this figure might be adjusted as additional tax filings surface. The show was released in June or on June 4th of this year and failed to register on Nielsen's top 10 overall chart and only appeared on Nielsen's top 10 original streaming chart at 488 million watched minutes before dropping off the charts altogether in shows fourth or in the show's fourth week. The show did manage to reappear on the top 10 originally streaming in July 16th when the finale aired, garnering 335 million watch minutes before ultimately being canceled by the Walt Disney Company. Kathleen Kennedy championed the acolyte as Ledley, or Leslie Headland in the same New York Times piece that obfuscated the astronomical spending Kennedy approved for the Star Wars flop. Kennedy said, my belief in storytelling does need to be representative of all people. That's an easy decision for me. She continued operating with these giant franchises now with social media and the level of expectation. It's terrifying. I think Leslie has struggled a little bit with it. I think a lot of the women who step into Star Wars struggle with a bit more or with this a bit more because of the fan base being so male dominated. There she goes. The sexist men. They sometimes get attacked in ways that can be quite personal. How is it personal when they wag it out publicly? I honestly would like to know that. But let's continue. Leslie Hedlund would later state that the Acolyte failed. It would be her fault, however... The Acolyte is just another big-budget Lucasfilm project that fails to justify the exorbitant spending that Walt, of the Walt Disney Company. CEO Bob Iger continues to turn a blind eye to the out-of-control creative budgets. According to UK tax filings, Lucas has already spent at least $362 million US dollars making Andor, a show of very few watched, but 
many see as the best of Disney Plus series in Star or in the Star Wars universe. Outside of Star Wars, Kennedy has spent almost one hundred seventy million dollars making Willow reboot, only for Bob Iger to wipe the show from existence and take the expenses as a complete loss for tax purposes. As of writing the article or of this article. There are no legal commercial options to purchase or view Willow. So, yeah, um, the Acolyte basically cost 230 million, or 230 to 231 million folks, dollars, U.S. dollars. So when they were saying 180 million, they actually meant 180 million Great British Pounds, it seems. But why hide that, really? I mean... Why not point that out when you're talking about it publicly? So that's why the thumbnail says they tried to hide it because they did. It wasn't um it wasn't 172 million dollars. It was 172 million great british pounds. I think that that's kind of deceptive marketing, you know? Especially if you're trying to uh, get people to report things accurately, maybe they need to actually um, clarify things, you know? I just think that's kind of uh, deceptive on Disney's part. Anyway, folks, that's going to be the video. You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. What do you think of this? Do you think that uh, they should have just come out and said it? Should have just come out and admitted yeah, it's not $180 million, it's 180 million pounds. It's actually more like 230 odd million. But yeah, those are my thoughts, folks. Thank you so much for tuning in. Y'all have a wonderful day, and always remember to stay humble.